uh, a lot of people don't know this, but the only real reason I'm friends with Crooks here is so we can um, split festival tickets half price and I can go as his carer. It's a win-win, really. Pretty switched on like that. Wobbly Will Crooks, I call him Wobbly Will Crooks He lost life's lottery real bad And that can't possibly feel good And people point and stare and he says fuck off But they obviously still look They don't know why he walks wobbly They just think he's probably real cooked But he is probably real cooked Yeah. The odds are he's off his fucking face And if I had to bet on it I'd put a stack of 10 on it Because I know that that bet would be bloody safe And if I lost that bet I'd even eat my shit And run the decent risk of a funny taste But winning that bet would be a piece of piss Just like beating him in a running race And he runs slower than dial up internet There's something wrong with the wiring in his head Yeah it's fucked. His brain is damaged, so the message didn't send no fire in his legs. It developed in the womb because his mum really liked the crystal meth pipe and cigarettes combined with inbred sex. <laughs> now she cries with big regrets. I can't lie, I just rhymed that shit in jest. So I actually admire and give respect to him, to be honest. The guy's a living ledge. He could have wasted his life and lived the press, but he's resilient despite the shit that's said. And he's happy like a spider in its web. Back to acting like a prick again. Yeah, it's clear, I'm an awful mate. I love to call him all sorts of names. Cause when he gets mad I can just walk away Taunt him and talk some game I can pick on him for not walking straight And then flaunt my walking gait But if they invent legs that are automated Or get tortured all sorts of ways Fuck that But until then I'm never getting out his grill I'll tease him Ask him how it feels Push him in a wheelchair down a hill Give him a roller coaster without the thrills I'll put spikes on the hills So he has to think quick You guys are probably thinking that that's a bit sick I'll make him race against a pack of sick kids And make it a race at the Paralympics oh, Don't have a misfit Yeah that was a little too far just like a walk to the shops for Crooksy. <laughs> that was a little too harsh. But I'm not even close to the end of this yet. My pen has been ready with venomous threats. My machete will lend him and sever his head. Man, he better go get his mate Chevy Levette. I've got some pending confessions that I've been desperate to mention. I don't think he's disabled. I think he's just faking it for the Centrelink pension. If that was his plan, then crap's hit the fan. I've definitely wrecked it. Now when he's getting concession tickets, he's gonna keep getting rejected. <laughs> On a night out, he can wire loud. He's a bit of a mess and a bit of a pest. He'll use CP for free drinks off chicks while he sits on the couch when he's chilling at Revs. He tells him he has a disability and it is killing him and makes him really depressed. He says women will listen and sometimes they'll give in and end up just giving him sympathy sex. If that is true, I'm pretty impressed, but I don't know, bro. I'm no homo, but how does he even get jiggy in bed? Does he need help to start lifting his legs? Does his dick even work while they're giving him head? Or does he just fuck him with his fingers instead? And then just act like it's his dick in pretend And gets him to shit on his chest He's sick in the head But I don't believe that he fucks women Like seriously, as if they'd ever want to fuck with him So enough with it They wouldn't touch him with a 10 foot pole Unless they're beating him up with it And he acts hot He's in fact not Have you seen the pic of him in his tank top On his backdrop of his laptop Man, his vanity is insanity He is actually a crackpot It's a glaring fact He's got a hairy back He's like a Sasquatch with a dad bod and he needs a new barbershop He's got a haircut like he's in a hard cunt gang bro I'd rather hit his part at the top Cause right now he's looking like a half suck mango One time he took his car to Knox I have to admit it was hard to not Break down and laugh a lot when a car was parked In his last disabled parking spot And it didn't even have a disabled sticker And I knew that made him better We had to walk from the back car park Then his heartbeat stopped But I didn't push him in his wheelchair to make it quicker He should work in secondary schools And be a motivational speaker the money would be perfect, it would be worth it, it would be a break for the teachers, but he'd have to show his legs at the school during his inspirational speeches, and the kids will get nervous because they'll be certain that he's an alien creature. Fuck, I'm a savage, eh? He's probably ecstatic that he moved to Radelaide so we could have a break from me, practice wheelchair b-ball and have a game on Saturdays, but I'm a massive pain. I'll become a referee for the time he said to me that I don't have a brain and that my rapping's lame and that it's fucking simple and I'll make up some rules that are unofficial. I'll blow on the fucking whistle. He'll probably be a fussy grizzle, but I'll court how seen if the retard is drooling down the mouth while they bounce that's double dribble. Uh, I'll just court how I'm fucking supposed to. Crooks can go chew on a funky toadstool. What's he gonna do? Get a chunky pistol? Start shooting and go fucking postal? Oh, maybe he will. I don't even give a fuck anymore. I'm sick of people pretending they like Crooksy. Oh, he's such a nice bloke. You only like him because he's disabled and you feel sorry for him. Have you ever actually had a conversation with the bloke?